Would you know what to do when an emergency strikes? Did you know that seconds count when addressing a cardiac emergency situation? Do you know where the automated external defibrillators are located in your school? Do you know who is able to use them? On this training video, we will share skills that will help you recognize a cardiac arrest and know when and how to utilize an AED to help until more advanced care arrives to take over. At the end of this training video, you will adequately be prepared to locate the AEDs within the building you are working or visiting in, describe the key steps in activating the AEDs in an emergency cardiac situation, and recognizing that anyone in the state of Ohio is allowed to operate an AED. This instructional video will inform CPS staff on compliance with the Ohio Revised Code 3313.6023, which states, each school district shall provide training in the use of an automated external defibrillator, or AED, to each person employed by the district. This training does not require each person to demonstrate skill. However, the training must familiarize you with the use of an AED and when to use it. On this video training module, we'll help you recognize cardiac arrest, familiarize you with when and how to utilize an AED in accordance with the American Heart Association guidelines, and help in an emergency situation until more advanced care arrives to take over. Let's begin with several important points. All CPS buildings are equipped with at least one AED. Ohio law allows any person with or without training to use an AED. A person operating an AED shall make a good faith effort to activate an emergency medical services system by calling 911 or having someone else call 911 as soon as possible. Two types of AEDs are available in CPS buildings, the Phillips Heart Saver, FRX, and the Zoll AED+. AEDs in CPS buildings should be obvious to spot in the typical white cabinet in a main hallway and typically one per floor. Most schools have two or more depending upon the size of the school. Take a moment to remember where the AEDs are located in your building. If you do not know the location, ask your administrator or check at the main office. Now, let's cover usage guidelines of rescue AEDs and demonstration of the units you will find in our buildings. Let's start with the basics. An automated external defibrillator, or AED, it's a small portable device available in all CPS buildings in case of a sudden cardiac arrest. A sudden cardiac arrest is the abrupt loss of heart function and is caused when the heart's electrical system malfunctions. If not corrected, these cardiac conditions, ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation, rapidly lead to irreversible brain damage and death. After approximately three to five minutes in cardiac arrest, irreversible brain damage may begin to occur. For every minute that a person in cardiac arrest goes without being successfully treated, the chance of survival decreases by 7% per minute in the first three minutes and decreases by 10% per minute as time advances beyond the first three minutes. Approximately 1,000 lives are lost every day in the United States to sudden cardiac arrest. These deaths affect adult men, women, teens, and even young school children. In order to save lives, AEDs have been recommended to be placed anywhere the public gathers. And since on any given day, educational institutions house more than 20% of the U.S. population, educational settings are ideal locations for AED deployment. An AED will automatically analyze the heart's rhythm. When it detects an irregular life-threatening rhythm that will lead to sudden cardiac death, the AED can deliver an electrical shock to restore the heart to a normal rhythm. If the AED does not detect the abnormal rhythms that it is programmed to detect, it will not charge and cannot allow a shock to be delivered. To use an AED, turn it on by either pushing the on button or lifting the lid. Once you turn on the AED, you will hear prompts, which will tell you everything you need to do. All CPS AEDs are equipped with adult pads and child pads or a pediatric key. Make sure you use the adult pads for anyone eight years of age or older. 
Before you place the pads, quickly scan the person to see if there are any special situations that might require additional steps. Each of your AEDs is equipped with a rescue kit. Inside your rescue kit, you'll find scissors to cut the clothing, a razor to shave the chest if necessary, plastic gloves for personal protection, a towel to dry the chest if necessary, an antiseptic wipe to wipe the chest in the event they have a pain patch medication, and a CPR barrier shield for protection during CPR. There are a few important things to note about the victim and their surroundings. If the victim has hair on the chest that may prevent pads from sticking, quickly shave the area where you will place the pads using the razor found in the carrying case. If the victim is lying in water, quickly move the victim to a dry area. If the victim is lying in snow, you may use the AED. The chest doesn't have to be completely dry. If the victim has water on the chest, quickly wipe the chest dry before attaching the pads. If the victim has an implanted defibrillator or pacemaker, do not put the AED pad directly over the implanted device, then follow the normal steps for operating an AED. If there is a medicine patch where you need to place the AED pad, don't put the AED pad directly over the medicine patch. While wearing protective gloves, remove the medicated patch, wipe the area clean, and then attach the AED pads. Now I'm going to show you the process of how to use an AED during a cardiac emergency. An AED is to be used on an unresponsive person who is not breathing. If you see somebody collapse, or you find somebody collapsed, first look around and make sure the scene is safe. If the scene is safe, then approach the victim and shake their shoulders. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? If the victim doesn't respond, call for help and have someone call 911 and go get the AED. If no one responds, you'll have to call 911 and you'll have to go get the AED yourself. Once the AED arrives, turn the AED on and follow the voice prompts. Both AEDs will tell you exactly what to do. You'll remove the clothing from the patient's chest, peel the pads from their backing, and place them exactly as shown on the chest. I've already told you what things to look out for on the chest, so you'll already take that precaution into consideration. I'm going to demonstrate the AED by turning it on and letting it roll through its rescue for you. Unit OK. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. These are one-piece pads for the Zoll. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. AED is analyzing. Do not touch the patient. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. If the AED advises a shock, you make sure no one's touching and say Don't everyone touch clear. Patient. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Good compression. Once you apply the AED pads, do not remove the pads and do not turn the AED off. Keep the AED pads on and wait for advanced care to arrive. If this is a child emergency, a child is under eight years old, you would remove the adult pads from the AED and in the back of your AED case, you will find child pads with the exact same type of connector as the adult pads. You would remove the child pads from the AED case, open the child pads, and insert the connector into the AED. The child pads show the picture of how to place them on the child patient, the front and the back of the child. Remember, whenever using an AED, 
turn the AED on and follow the voice prompts until advanced care arrives. The Zoll adult pads are one piece pads. In the event that you have someone with a large chest that you see the pad is not in the correct position, the pads are perforated. You simply rip down on the perforated border and extend the pads to accommodate the larger chest. To use the Philips AED, the steps are essentially the same. If you see somebody collapse or witness them collapse, you make sure the scene is safe and you approach the victim. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? If they don't respond, you call for help. Send someone to call 911 and get the AED. If no one comes to help you, you'll have to call 911 and you'll have to go get the AED. Once the Philips AED arrives, you'll open the AED and turn it on by pressing the button. And once again, the AED will walk you through step by step exactly what you have to do. Remove clothes from patient's chest. When patient's chest is bare, look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one white pad from the gray case. Place pad exactly as shown. Press firmly to bare skin. Stay clear of patient. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Everyone clear. Deli shock delivered. Be sure emergency medical services have been called. It is safe to touch the patient. Begin CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. If you need CPR assistance, simply press the blue button that's flashing. Place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest between the nipples. Place your other hand on top of the first. Push the chest down firmly two inches. Keep time with the beat. The AED will instruct you to do compressions and time you for two minutes. Then the AED will stop tell you to remove your hands from the patient's chest and analyze the heart rhythm and advise you to deliver another shock if it's necessary. Once again, never remove the pads from your patient's chest once you've applied them and never turn your AED off until advanced care arrives and tells you to do so. If your victim is under the age of eight, you'll want to use the child pediatric key. Every Philips AED in the CPS buildings is equipped with a child pediatric key. The key is located on the inside flap next to the adult pads. Simply remove the key, bend it, and insert it into the slot located at the top of the Philips AED. Once the key is inserted, when you turn your AED on, infant child mode, remove clothes from patient's chest. The infant child key has now reduced the energy of the AED and the adult pads can be used on the child. The AED key has pictures on it to show you how to place the pads on the front and the back of the child. If there's any question if the child is under or over the age of eight, go ahead and use your adult pads. CPS facility staff checks our AEDs on a monthly basis to ensure they are maintained per AED maintenance procedures. Pads and batteries are changed and replaced on a scheduled basis in accordance with the manufacturer instructions to ensure the units are ready for use at all times. Any reports of AED malfunctions or audible alarms indicating a need for service should be reported immediately to the main office of your school. After using an AED, report to the main office building engineer are directly to the Environmental Health and Safety Office. Whenever an AD is used, CPS has procedure in place to follow so that it may be serviced prior to putting the unit back in service. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this instructional video on how to utilize an AED on an unconscious person. The guidelines reviewed for AED use are in accordance with Ohio Revised Code 
and nationally recognized guidelines set forth by the American Heart Association for AED use. Remember, according to Ohio law, anyone can use an AED. This video training for CPS staff is intended to increase your knowledge about AEDs and how to operate them and is intended to meet the Ohio Revised Code for Schools. You should be familiar with how to use an AED on an unresponsive victim, how to operate an AED on a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, and who you need to contact if you have additional questions. This video is not a substitute for hands-on training using CPR and AED training that is provided by certified instructors in many chapters of the American Red Cross and American Heart Association. CPS supports the idea and encourages staff to participate in hands-on CPR and AED training opportunities. If you would like more information, additional resources are available at the Safe Schools AED Training Module, Phillips FRX Online Training AED Demonstration, the Zoll AED Plus Online AED Demonstration, and at the American Heart Association website. If you have questions on this training, please contact the Environmental Health and Safety Office, Cynthia Igbalnia, Environmental Health and Safety Manager, with the phone number and email shown.